from Hobart and William Smith Colleges, this is Meet the Campus with John Hebe. This week, we'll go into the office of catering manager Pat Hike, sit down with President's Forum lecture speaker Kevin Roos, and visit Hobart Jr. Brian Burbank. So join me this week and every week for Meet the Campus with me, John Hebe, and the greatest show on earth. Joining the college is in 1976. Catering manager Pat Hike is an integral member of the campus community. During her tenure at HWS, she has served meals to over 17,000 students. We do a lot of work at the President's House, at the Dean's House, at the Provost. We're all over campus. The people are wonderful here. They make you feel so good about yourself. It's a very exciting job, a very tiring at times job, but I love it. They like to call me up, ask me to do something, and just say do it because I make their, I try to make their work a little easier, their lives a little easier. I really have a gallery of pictures with everybody that's been here since President Guerin's been here. He has brought here to campus. I've met presidents. I met President Clinton. I've met um, all the dignitaries that they meet. President Guerin makes sure I meet them one on one, and I have my picture taken with them. During his sophomore year at Brown University, Kevin Roos took a semester off to attend the conservative Christian college, Liberty University. His book, The Unlikely Disciple, A Sinner's Semester at America's Holiest University, tells the tale of his journey. I think college is, is neat in that in no other area of your life will people just sort of come to your house, basically, and tell you about what they're doing. I just got to HWS yesterday. I uh, was invited to talk in the presidential forum uh, about my book, The Unlikely Disciple. It's about the semester that I spent uh, as a student at Liberty University, which is Jerry Falwell's uh, Bible boot camp for young evangelicals. And uh, yeah, we had a good talk last night. It was awesome. I'm loving, uh, I'm loving being here on campus. When I was in college, I tried to go to every uh, every lecture series that I could make it to, every colloquium, every um, presentation, um, because I think you know, it's a way to expose yourself to um, this world of ideas that is literally at your doorstep. Um, and it's a, it's a privilege, one of the things I miss most about college. In addition to playing varsity basketball, Brian Burbank is a resident assistant, tour guide, study mentor, and board member of the college's Black Student Union. There is never a dull moment for this, Hobart Jr. Gaining a, a better understanding of the history, um, you know, to better prepare for our future. Sankofa is our Black Student Union here um, on campus. My role specifically within Sankofa is I'm the public relations officer. And really what we've tried to do this year is spread awareness on campus um, about issues of multiculturalism and um, issues of diversity. Well, academically, uh, me personally, I wouldn't wouldn't do as well academically if it weren't for basketball or you know being an athlete because that that forces me to manage my time and, and, and to structure structure my time as well. Hobart athletics as a whole, that's also sort of a family dynamic, and and not only my my specific teammates but other Hobart athletes, you know, I view as brothers as well. I'm John Heavey. Thanks for watching. And we hope to see you next week for another edition of Meet the Campus.